Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, we are going to be going over today's daily challenges, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so they include... We have to pick five black corns. Alright, we have to update one camp theme. Skin three... or sorry, five chickens. There's actually not one that's too terribly far away from here. We have to cook three succulent fish again. Um, I think I actually might have some broke down already in my inventory, which would be great. We have to finish one showdown showdown series. Let's see, kill three players with a bow in a showdown, and then kill or skin two spoonbills. All right. Well, these two could actually be done pretty quickly, even though I'm not a big fan of necessarily doing the PvP, but that's really not that difficult to complete those. But I'm not going to do those ones on camera. Just go into any showdown series, and then just, honestly just kill three people with a bow. That's all you have to do, even if you don't really like the matches. Uh, I'm going to check my satchel real quick. I think I might have some succulent fish still. Let's just give it a check here. I can't remember if I do or not. Oh, I do. I do still have some. So, basically, succulent fish, uh, for the most part, you just have to catch three trout, steelhead trout, and then just break them down. That's the best way that you're going to get the succulent fish. Now, I can't think of any campfires around this area that I can do this at, but I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run all the way down to, uh, I can't remember the name of the fort, Rostellers Fort, there we go. And that has chickens in that area, so that's gonna be a really good area for me to go ahead and get these chickens. And we have to get five of them for our daily challenge. So let's just go ahead and run down there. And maybe while we're kind of doing that, we can just kind of briefly chit chat about the summer update now i'm super stoked for the summer update hopefully you guys are as well i am definitely looking forward to it and i can't wait to try out what the new roles and the new jobs so to speak are going to be i think that's going to be a very very exciting time for red dead online and i'm hoping that it's not a letdown or a disappointment in any way but you know, you that you have that little bit of a gut feeling that it's just gonna be like, I hope they can pull this off. I really hope they can, they can pull this off. But anyway, I will be right back as soon as I make it all the way down. All right, guys, I've made it to Rostellar Fort. There was a bit of a storm, so there we go. Anyway, we're gonna shoot some of these chickens. And we need five of them, if I remember right. We don't wanna shoot the dog. Perfect. Sorry, we're going to get a little bit of uh, honor decrease for that. But, you know, we, we definitely had to do the chickens. Now, I think we could probably get away with the prairie chickens outside of Blackwater. But I really don't know for sure. I guess it's not something that I've tested. But at least I know for sure that there are um, chickens down here. And we're also getting some plump bird meat, which definitely seems to be a daily challenge as of lately. So that will work out so we can cook that... Uh, Cook some seasoned plumped chicken, but uh, plump bird. <laughs> but if you guys uh, want to check out my video on the succulent fish, uh, I can show you guys a very, very, very good location to go ahead and pick up the type of fish that you guys are going to need in order to cook the succulent fish. Otherwise, if you guys know the locations, you just need to get three of them, break them down, and you're going to be able to uh, get that daily challenge complete relatively easy i always try to actually have a couple on me anyway because it seems like lately and we actually had a few days in a row or maybe there was a day miss there that it does seem to happen from time to time so we got skinning five chickens so we completed our at least one of our daily challenges for today so that was relatively easy all right now black currents all right well that is actually Pretty close by. I'm just kind of taking a look, updating our camp. That would be easy. Uh, I just got to find a fire for the cooked succulent fish. We might just make our way to Blackwater because I know there's a campfire there for sure. I'm just trying to think of any other places that I know of that might be a campfire 
in this area. I'm not really sure, though. I can't think of any actual campfires. Unless there's one at that house there in, in Tumbleweed. But anyway, we're actually relatively close to the Black Corrent uh, location that I know of. So we're actually just right here at Rock Rosteller Fort. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to come right down to this location right here. And we're actually going to get off the horse. And actually right here in front of us at this location. So pretty much from here. And there's going to be another group like here. And another group like right, right here at the edge of this area. There's going to be a couple different locations that you guys are going to pick up the Black Corrent. So uh, Black Current, sorry. Let's go ahead and eat that because it's right here in front of us. So that's going to be one out of the way. And I do apologize for doing this at night. We did have a crazy thunderstorm that came in and actually didn't spawn any animals up at the fort. So that was kind of a disappointment and a letdown. But if we actually run a little bit this way, it should be right here in front of us. There it is, right there. Now I'll show you guys exactly on the map where this one is at too. See, just, just a little bit a ways from where I was at. My horse is the first location. All right, so that's going to be three and number four. And then we just need to go a little bit more further in. And you can see that there's some more right here. So I'll, again, I'll show you guys on the map. Look at that. I mean, there's three groups of them. You should be able to get five of them out of that group. And if not, just look around this area. I don't really actually know if there's any more. Like really close by. There's something over there. Let's see. That does not look like black currents, black currents at all. Nothing there. No, I do like doing this at night because you can actually see for a longer distance. So that's that's always nice and helpful. But anyway, that looks like that's pretty much it for the black currents. Uh, so definitely check that out if that's something that you guys are definitely wanting. I'm just gonna see if I need any of these other. Items here real quick. There was some more right here. What was this time? I don't need any of that. I need some oregano though and mint. I need some minty mints. All right. Well, now that that is all done and complete, we can actually head on to Tumbleweed. I'm going to check to see if there is a campfire at that house real quick because I can't remember if there is or not. But if you guys know of a location down in the New Austin area that actually has... A campfire that we can use to cook and craft items. I know we can craft pretty much anywhere because you can rest anywhere. Okay, that guy's firing. I thought maybe there was some kind of event going on. But I can't remember if there is one here or not. But we're going to check that out here in just a jiffy because we're almost there. But hopefully you guys are enjoying some of the daily challenges. I do enjoy doing these. These are a lot of fun for me. Um, I definitely can't wait for the summer update, as I was mentioning before. Um, I wonder if there's actually one around back. Let's check out back real quick. Nope, doesn't look like there's a campfire here. All right, well, that's a bust for the campfire. So let's go ahead, and I'm just going to go up to Blackwater because I know that there is one there for sh for certain. And there's one already right outside of uh, uh, Valentine. That's a good one, too. There's one in San Denis. But I just can't think of any other locations off the top of my head. So those are the primary ones that I go to. Okay, that's just a light. I thought, I thought there was a campfire inside of the the graveyard there for a second i was like wait what all right uh blackwater that's where we're going now if you guys don't know about this campfire location this is one that i actually visit uh, quite frequently probably the same with the one in valentine i've gone there quite a few times as well and and sandini let's just let's just be honest here so uh this one is located right behind this house in blackwater or just right outside of blackwater so there's this campfire that you guys can go to. This is one of my favorite ones to go to, honestly. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, cook up my three succulent fish. Too bad I couldn't store more. Let's see. I don't have enough mint. See, I need, I need some mint. So we're going to do... Oh, I guess I don't need oregano anymore. Um, we need succulent fish. There we go. All right. We're going to go with time this time. Ha-ha. 
Let's go ahead and cook this up. Mmm, thyme succulent fish. That sounds, I don't know, at least doesn't sound as bad as minty fish. Minty fish just sounds, that just sounds absolutely terrible. But once we cook our last one here, we will get our gold and our achievement or the daily challenge complete, which is going to be fantastic. And right here, we're going to get it perfect. 0.3 and 200 experience points for cooking up the fish. All right, let's go ahead and just back out of here. And that's done. Just like that, we got that one completed. All right, so now we have to update our our camp theme. Uh, what else can we do real quick here? Let's take a look. Uh, we got the spoon bills, but it's nighttime, so it's not going to be the greatest time to be looking for them. Actually, what time of day is it? It's too dirty in the morning. All right, well, it's too dirty. All right, well. What we're going to do is we're going to go back into Blackwater and then we're going to fast travel to our camp because I have no idea where my camp is at right now. I hardly ever go there. And then we're going to go and just and update one of the themes and call it good. All right, let's see. Where, oh, where is my camp? Actually, where is my camp? I'm curious to see where my camp is actually at. All right, it's in West Elizabeth. Not too terribly far away from where I'm at. But we're going to go to camp. Two bucks, two bucks, two bucks. So we've made it to our camp. This is actually a really cool location. This is the one in West Elizabeth, right? Nice. All right. This is... I kind of like this area. Pretty sweet looking area. All right, we got crypts here. I guess I could have just gone to the camp and cooked here, but whatever. It works. We're going to go to the Wilderness Outfitters. And we're going to update our theme. Processing. See, so all you have to do is buy one and then just rotate between the two. This is pretty much the only things that I haven't purchased because I guess I don't really need to. I have the money for it, but how much is it if you were to use gold? Tw 25 gold. Holy cow, that's insane. 32 gold. Wow. That's kind of crazy. All right. Well, I seem to be stuck here on the screen for a little bit. I... Really don't know why this happens to me when I'm in the stables as well, that I can't do anything for a little bit. So once I'm able to, maybe we'll be at that time be able to go and find our spoon bills. All right, guys. So we actually have a couple spoon bills right here in front of me. I'm right next to a pelican as well. So we're going to go ahead and shoot these guys real quick because we just need to get the two. Well, there we go. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab these two first because these are the ones that I wanted. Um, just because, yeah, it, that's what we needed it for. So if, just in case you guys don't know where they're at, they're actually located pretty much all in this area. There's actually a really good location of some over in this general area as well. And there's usually actually a couple sitting right here by this little pond right by the Lemoyne. Oh, um, there's a, but yeah, just kind of travel around this entire area. But I had, I did have to wait till the morning of in order to do it. So... That's, that is a little unfortunate, but that's all right. We didn't have to wait too, too terribly long. It was only a couple hours in game and then we were able to do it because what it's about 6 37 o'clock. There we go. Perfect time. All right. So that's one skinned and then we're going to go ahead and skin the other one. We got a couple of, we got a couple of wild boars here. They're coming to check out what's going on apparently. But anyway, that is all the time that I have for in today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the daily challenges for today. They're actually relatively easy. I might actually jump into a showdown mode just to complete the other two to see if I can actually get all seven done and complete for today. But again, if you guys did enjoy, the support is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. Thank <laughs> you.